Welcome to Trapedia, where we explore the hidden gems of one of the most beautiful cities in the world, Paris. Join me as we venture off the beaten path and uncover the lesser known but equally enchanting spots that make Paris truly special. Let's begin our journey together and see what hidden gems we can find in the heart of Paris. Palais Royal Gardens. The Palais Royal, a palace built in the 17th century, stands in the heart of Paris, not far from the Louvre. From Cardinal Richelieu to King Louis XIV, and all the way up to the French Revolution, this was the royal residence. The French Ministry of Culture has designated only these two gardens as remarkable gardens, making them unique in the city of Paris. Designed by Victor Louis in 1731, they offer a cool respite on a hot summer day. The courtyard, created by Daniel Buren in 1986, features black and white columns. It's a great area to take a stroll and one of the best Parisian secrets, with its mix of modern and vintage clothing stores and cafes. You might get lucky and meet a weird bird man as we did. If you give birds bread drenched in milk, they will eat right out of your hand, as this gentleman revealed to us. Once we got used to having them land on us, we had a great time. The Marais is one of the most untouched parts of Paris, and the majestic Place des Vosges was commissioned by Henry IV in 1605. The square itself may be well known, but off to the side streets, you'll find some excellent museums and parks that are less frequented. Place des Vosges features several galleries and cafes beneath its vaulted arches. A couple of the most well-known eateries on the Place des Vosges are L'Ambroisie and Restaurant Anne. À l'Esquat du 59, Rue de Rivoli, L'Esquat du 59. Rue de Rivoli is a fantastic alternative to the Louvre, and it's just a short walk away. Prior to its official declaration as a museum by the city of Paris in 1999, it had been occupied by squat artists. Numerous artists have claimed each room at 52 Rivoli as their studio to display their fascinating works of art to the public, and the walls are covered from head to toe with graffiti of various artistic mediums. The entrance to the museum is free, however, hosts will ask for a gift or sell artwork if you like what you see. If you're interested in art or photography, you should definitely check out Le Squad du 59 Rue de Rivoli. The store is open from 1 to 8 p.m. Rue Crémieux, a hidden street in Paris. These quaint cottages in the Parisian suburb of Bastille offer a tranquil retreat, much like London's Notting Hill. What could have been a lifeless concrete jungle is brought to vibrancy by the brightly painted streets. In the same way that most Europeans consider a house incomplete without at least one or two plants in the front yard, the locals here consider a house to be complete only when there are at least that many. This is a residential street where actual Parisians live. So while it is stunning, keep in mind that you will be green with jealousy as you walk down it. A resident trying to relax in their house may not like having their privacy invaded by a tourist's camera. Parc des Boots Chaumont Waterfalls, bridges, and fantastic vantage points make Parc des Boutes Chaumont a must-see on every one of our Paris trips. It's hard to believe that you're just a few minutes away from the hustle and bustle of the city's main drag at this secluded lunch spot along Canal Saint-Martin. When it comes to free activities in Paris, we highly recommend this one. If you're a hiker, this will satisfy your need for the great outdoors. The trek up to the lookout is also guaranteed to get your heart rate up. Petite Centour, Paris Abandoned Railway. After the Paris Metro was built in the 19th century, the city's former transportation system was discontinued. Some of the abandoned tracks now include beautiful graffiti art among the overgrowth of plants and flowers. Many locations between the 12th and 20th arrondissements of Paris provide access to the railway, but the most convenient point of entry is the catacombs. Get out of the city and into nature by strolling along the railroad tracks. Montmartre Sinking House 
His ingenious optical illusion has been staring us in the face for years, yet we've only recently begun to see it. In Montmartre, as you make your way up the hill towards Sacré-Cœur, there is a small plot of grass on the right. The bright orange mansion is in your rearview mirror. This amusing optical illusion may be captured by tilting your phone to the left. Thank you for joining us on our travels around the world with Tripedia. We hope that our videos have given you a glimpse into the incredible diversity and beauty of our planet. We believe that travel is not just about ticking off destinations on a bucket list, but about immersing yourself in new cultures, meeting new people, and creating unforgettable memories. As you continue your own journey, we encourage you to explore with an open heart and an open mind. Whether you're traveling solo with friends or with family, every trip is a chance to learn, grow, and connect with the world around you. Thank you for being a part of the Tripedia community, and we look forward to continuing to share our adventures with you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more travel inspiration and tips. Until next time, safe travels.